Hello, Supermania, Superforms, Facebookers, YouTubers, anybody subscribes to my racing channel and anything, to those who may concern, boy, let's check it in here. I'd um, like to give a shout out to my good friend here, uh, Andy of AZP Brakes, because he sold me a badass brake kit that just will not stop or give up. <laughs> However, a lot of people like to say when they go big brake kit or if they're road racing their car that, um, you know, you want to delete your ABS because it's a race car and you want as least interference from the car as possible. I agree with that to a certain extent. Um, what I, the setup I'm running is uh, the six pistons up front and uh, two pistons out back. Um, the Brembo kit out back. Uh, I road race my car. I go pretty fast. I like to think I'm a good driver. However, a lot of people like to think that, you know, oh yeah, ABS is just gonna, you know, you can always feel impending lockup and everything. I've been doing this for a number of years. I like to think I'm pretty good. I'm not toot my own horn. I like to be humble. I am an instructor. See the I? That means I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I like to say that, you know, even for the most briefest of moments of impending lockup, you can cause some major damage. And yes, these tires were starting to end, you know, towards the end of their life. You know, there's my, uh, one of my rears. <laughs> but uh, I would like to say that, you know, just the most basic of lockups. I was coming down the stretch at uh, Black Hawk Farms and, uh, you know, just a little too late into the braking zone and, you know, and that's what happens. Basically ended all my sessions of that day and had to drive my car home with a huge flat spot on the tire. So, with that said, please keep your ABS. It's worth it. When it's working correctly. I have ABS when my sensor was broken. Supras. Anyway, SK out.